All right, so I'm going to call the regular select board meeting to order. It's about 6 o'clock. It's uh, Thursday. Welcome to November, November the 2nd. Um, well, we have to change our clocks again, what, this weekend? Is that week? Yeah. Terrible thing, but it's coming up. Um, Does it last long? No. First thing is set adjust agenda. Does anybody have anything to remove from the agenda? All right. Nice uh, try. Yeah, I was gonna try. Uh, communication from the audience. Where's the audience? We have an audience tonight. Where should we go? Uh, you're good there, I think. Yeah. yeah. Just state your name. Tim. Hi, uh, Tim Nisbet and Mary Hall from Heart of Rescue, and we have a proposition. Oh, well. We would like to give you a building. Oh boy. <laughs> I bet it's a good one too. Twenty-one hundred square foot building. Oh. In exchange for a chunk of land on the end of Creamery Road, another lease, um, so that we can put our new building down there. Because otherwise, we're going to tear that one down. It seems a shame to do that. Yeah. And we can make a larger building down there. And I'm talking about down by uh, uh, Greg's house there. Yeah. Where the new where the new steel between, building is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah between. Just on the other side of it. Between Greg's and the uh, new steel building that you guys put up. Basically where the pile of dirt usually, there's usually like dirt or trucks there. I think there's often just parts there. Yeah. Well, it could be. But I think there's just like I'm just bits thinking, of pipe. At the end of the site of the yeah. Yeah. piece there, mm -hmm. it would make more sense for us to put a building there. Um, so we're, we're proposing like a 4,200 square foot building. So, so doubling, nice. the, doubling the size of ours, but we're talking two stories, mm -hmm. so it wouldn't be twice the footprint, but it would be a, maybe a footprint and a half of what we've got. So, I, th I think... Are you to doing a, um, having some sort of a, a So, item number two on our agenda is to talk about a grant that we would use to plan right. a new building. Fire, fire moving station. the fire station. Yeah, I ran this by Opie. So um, you already know that. Monday, I think yeah. it was, I called him, and he suggested coming here. Yeah, and talking it's great. From the floor, uh, because you yep. guys were in the process of working on developing that area. So I think... What's your timeline, Yeah, Tim? Our timeline is variable, because we're still in the planning stages. Mm -hmm. um, we haven't even started fundraising yet, but in order to do that, we need to have an idea of exactly right. of pretty much what we're going to do. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, I imagine that we can be, the town can be flexible, right? Yeah, I think we probably should set up a separate meeting to really dig into it. To dig it. into it. Yeah. It would also be nice to see if the timing worked out for the look at how to move fire up here to Creamery Road and expand the town garage at fire. Be interesting to see like yeah. if we could maybe look at that whole property whole as a campus. Plan, yeah. As basically an and emergency see, services campus which would be pretty right. cool, which would be pretty amazing. Probably. And is that the best loop? I mean I think I, at, at least I feel like uh, we want to be flexible. We yes, want to support rescue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and and so yeah, let's work. Let's mm -hmm. keep. Let's work on it. Okay. Um, but maybe there are. Maybe that's the best place, or maybe there's a better place. I don't One know. advantage of doing it this way is we can stay right where we are until we're ready to right. walk in the door of a new facility. Yeah, that's, that's, really that's the other thing is that we have to have somewhere where the ambulances are in uh, winter. They're warm. They're they're plugged in, so we, they just can't be sitting outside. So right. we had talked about um, if we were going to do that one, tearing it down. Um, we've talked to Tommy and the fire department, and oh, they would give us space there, there right. to put the ambulances. Mm -hmm. It's still you know then we got to pull supplies and stuff. But yeah, it's better than than not having anything. Yeah, like, um, we also the the. Rescue Squad as a group had voted and they want to stay where we are. We like where we are. It's a good central location. It's good for people that are coming now. Um, we've got people that are staying there some during the day. We definitely have people staying there at night. That's another part of getting a new building is to have sleeping quarters yep. because we're coming to that. Um, 
And the, one of the things that people were saying is that it's nice for this location because they can get out and walk, go downtown, get yeah. something to eat, come back. They're not that far away be, to be able to get back there. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's kind of a plus location. Yeah. Yep. I've also heard that it's sometimes handy to have road crew guys around. Yes, it is. <laughs> we work well with them. Yes. So well keeping so keeping everybody there yeah. is good too. Yeah. Um, and since a lot of the road crew guys are also on the fire department, it also makes sense to bring the fire department up if we can. So, so I guess just I just have one question. What do we? So it's, we're kind of a little bit at a stalemate. It sounds like because we we're not totally sure exactly what we're doing, but we are supportive, obviously, of the EMTs. I'm just wondering what we can give other than like a general. We like the idea to help move things along. Yeah, I think that's all we can give. Okay. You asked about a timeline, Liz. Yeah. And, uh, I think if we knew that we could do this location and we would get back with our engineer firm, uh, DeWolf, and have them just do a site evaluation, um, one concern I would have would be the soil there. I mean, the issues you ran into with library, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't think we'd have to go down very deep because mm -hmm. this would be a slab. But we'd want to have an engineer take a look at the site mm -hmm. and be sure that it was okay to build there. Right. Um, and that could happen relatively quickly, I would think. But we need to do a massive fundraising campaign mm -hmm. first before we can mm -hmm. go ahead. So, yeah. I, I mean, wonder if their engineer would be willing to do a whole site plan. Yeah. I'm if we all pitch in, so yeah. let's, it, yeah. I mean, if you if you wouldn't mind, <laughs> you just follow up with coordinating them. Yeah, uh, coordinate that with is with all the. Yeah. Yeah. With. OP. Yeah, be in touch with. Just keep working with um, OP and. Okay, we keep so, in touch with OP. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I will. I think so. Sort out a, a some I mean, sort of plan forward. You know, not next year. Like sometime this month, maybe right, we right, can right. figure out a time to right. all meet and yeah, yeah the have only... a single topic and really talk about what could possibly happen. Right. And we'll, from our discussions, well, at least when Wiz and I were looking at this a while ago, it seemed like probably the best path forward for the town garage, even though it's difficult for the same reasons you listed, would be to tear down the existing garage and build something essentially there. Mm -hmm. um, but if the EMTs are not right there, that opens up another space. It does. <laughs> so that's potentially helpful. Well, two days. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. It might be tight for a giant truck, but. Or it might be just take it all down and start Maybe. again. Yeah. yeah. Or turn it into offices. So this meeting would maybe be sometime after the 20th because we meet with HED on the 20th. Okay. And we potentially will talk with them some more about that. Um, what's it called? Red Leg or something like that. That program. Yeah. Because we looked at that for yeah. supporting the garage. Oh. Just saying. So after the 20th, but before Christmas. Yeah. We could say that, right? I think so. I mean, I'm interested. Well, we'll talk about it with our item two, but if we can. Uh, if we can start getting some traction on mm -hmm. essentially the same thing you're talking about, getting somebody to go up there, engineer to look at yeah. the whole property, where can we build most feasibly, and yeah. where does, like, just where does the sand pile go, how do the trucks turn around, just, you know, basic stuff. Our the firm that we hired has already looked at the site where the building is currently, so they have that. That's good. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> Pursue them. We could trade you your building for a Quonset hut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that was Shelby. It's going to be fun. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, uh, all right. Let's keep. Okay. So, yeah, I don't. I don't think we see any obvious roadblocks to doing that, but we'll need to do a little research and 
Yeah. Okay. Good. Maybe we can all get there building go. up there. There you go. Yeah. That'd be good. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good. Let's sure. carry on. Thank all you. right. Um, all right. Next is select board to approve minutes of our regular meeting, which was October 19th, and the amended minutes of October 5th. I don't know. I thought I looked at everything, but it was a couple days ago, so maybe I didn't. This is the test. To see yeah. It. <laughs> yeah, it's a test. These are 19. There's no. Can anybody see it? Here's the oh, first yes. First one. It's the after the minutes were approved, it was brought to the town manager's attention. It's in the library. It's on the first page. Library information within the October 5th meeting minutes were incorrect. There was a misunderstanding, and the below amendment will hopefully clarify the confusion. The library is not going to lift the existing building and add to the bottom. They are still planning to build the addition to the side, but the redesign includes lifting the addition up higher than planned so that there won't be water issues affecting the building. Oh, there was ambiguity that indicated that perhaps they were going to lift the original library. Yeah. Oh, I, I which that. is not the case. I did. Yeah, I did the not original, at all. The original library stays where it is. Okay, okay, so we're going to amend those. All right. So could we have two motions? Maybe one to. Amend. I can motion to approve the regular select board meeting minutes of October nineteenth. Second. Any discussion? Thought they were good. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Oh, that's all of us. So motion carries. And then? I can motion to approve the amended minutes of October 5th. Second. Any comments? Mm -mm. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Uh, any opposed? Motion carries. Excellent. Road foreman report. He's probably busy. I did see him out working today and I waved. <laughs> he waved back. He's always busy. <laughs> I know they were, I don't know, he was doing something. He was doing about three things, actually. Um, uh, okay, so moving right along. Item one, town clerk to present a tobacco liquor license renewal for New Beverage LLC doing business as M&M &M Beverage. They were a new business last October, or they bought M&M, &M, so we did their new license then, yep. and now the deal does calendar year instead of everybody ending end of April it's when they get their license okay so that's why they're now and not in April okay uh, and we don't have any issues no issues Excellent. I move the approval. second uh, any discussion all in favor please say aye aye aye, aye. aye. any opposed motion carries thank you item two select board to discuss the MTAP grant for climate change mitigation and resilience um, this grant effort would include the relocation of the fire station. That's maybe overstating it. I think this grant would look at the feasibility of relocating the fire station out of the flood um, and up to Creamery Road. I think that would be the intent. And yeah. coupled with replacing the town highway garage. What does MTAP stand for? That's Do a you know? great question. So I don't remember. It's Maybe. coming out of NVDA. So Allison Lowe reached out to Opie and me, and we, she asked, she said, we have this money, and she was thinking we just, it's for flood resiliency planning. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, anyway, we just talked Who about it. Who did we pay for part of this grand? plan that we're beginning to That's think about. the idea, but is there any match or do we know anything about it? Uh, we, Surely we will. Eventually. We will. Um, it's not much money. I want to say it's on the order of $7,000 that's oh. available. So it's so just a feasibility. It's a just a feasibility. Yeah. Yeah. We're not building a building with this. No. But it might help us build a building. It, especially, it's just step if we one. get it started, yeah. Step one where you say, look, we had this feasibility study about moving the fire department up here, and then we think it, it would work. Here's the study, help, and then you use that to, mm -hmm. you know, get the next grant. Leverage other. Yeah. So we're just we're just focusing on that project. Fire station. Yes, to because it's not much because money. Because the fire right. station is in the flood. Plane is in the where flood. The other is not. Yeah. Right, and 
but That's moving it up why there. Asked to focus on that, but yes, yeah. you're exactly right. Mm -hmm. That's why I asked to focus on mm -hmm. that. But we would want to. Um, we would we would want to look at a new town garage as part of that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So that might kickstart that whole process. So I, I don't know. That, we do it. that would be good. So I don't. Yeah. So you you move that we do it. That we pursue this. Okay. Grant. All right. Project. Or do, can we just come to consensus and say, yeah, we think this is a good idea? And then if we decide anything, we can. I assume Allison will be the person. Yep. That, yeah. Yep. Uh, I think it's all right to have a motion to pursue it. Okay. Okay, I'll second it then. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Next is item three, select board to discuss a transportation alternative grant application for Mill Street and Main Street. Um, and we do, we do have a note from, a memo from Tracy Martin, who's our community development coordinator, talking about it in our packet and basically talking about looking at the um, pedestrian and cyclist access and uh, traffic flow. Um, and the terrible sidewalks. From um, on Mill Street, sort of, um, sort of from um, Hayes service station down around all the way to the Peace Park even. Mm -hmm. The square. And just yeah. so I, yeah. maybe I missed it, but this is still, this is not actually doing any physical work. Correct. This is still no, just this is going. a feasibility thing. But so at the end it says again that, um, you know, you would, if there are things identified that we want to follow through with, we would use this as to make our next, the results of this study to make Make the case for a V-trans. Yeah. Transportation alternatives. Yeah. And now that Grand. because it's a part of the downtown, does it downtown? We might have access to more. Yep. Grants. Oh, really? We exactly. Really well, yeah. But we already we always had access to transportation alternatives. As a village center, but there's it, it's just a different level. I can't remember what the. It may not be yeah, huge. I thought it was but the same, but okay. A, there's a little variation there. Mm -hmm. But in any case. I think. Um, but it has a substantial match that's not in our budget. So that is a question that, that one of the, that's the only question I had about this, is I do think that's a major area that needs to be looked at, and we already had a report from the Planning Commission about it. Like it's mm -hmm. a, there's some major safety concerns that I have there. I think we um, should but ask the business manager to find the money. Yeah, and that was one of the things I was going to, uh, Casey's not here, but I'm a little, I wish we had a list of all of the commitment the loose commitments that we've made to matches because we have a lot of grants that we've applied for some of them we haven't gotten some of them we have gotten but you know there's the they're usually not large amounts usually the matches are like a thousand dollars to five thousand dollars but it would be nice to especially as we're coming into the budget season to figure out if I think we talked about this last year if we need to have a line for matching or if we can say this could come out of our um, sidewalk fund as a match because we, like, it's, it's just capital. Good. Yeah. Yeah, where does it come from? Right, that's let's, the question. Let's look at the budget and see yeah. where it comes from. Yeah. So in principle, do we we're know giving it's her due? the go-ahead It's due, this. well, applications are due December 8th. We're going to meet again on the 16th, which isn't, so it's not very far away really the that's why she'd like to have us ha she'd like to know whether she needs to be focusing on this or not oh okay all right um yeah it doesn't say that. so i say yes i say i say I mean, what, what we could do is... $60,000 for a scoping study seems like a lot, but... <laughs> We're in the wrong business. I'm in the wrong I business. I know. <laughs> can, we, can we basically do some sort of motion that's like, can we direct Casey and Opie to find, to look for how much we might have available for a match? In, yeah, like in our sidewalk funds or something. Mm-hmm. So... Yes. 
Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm just a little in shock with the price tag coming off the um, previous item where I'm pretty sure that was around $7,000 to do a study on moving the fire department and now this is like... But that's one building to one place as opposed to the entire heart of the downtown. That whole it's a section lot more complex. Road, but... If you say so. I don't know. Is it, is I don't know. Order I don't magnitude more complex? Well, All right. Wouldn't, wouldn't we also have to... Um, put an RFP out for a scoping study, or is it? Probably. So we don't really know how much that would cost, right? So this is just this is just assuming, based on this letter, this is currently working with the figure of $48,000. So, I mean, that. Right, so, so, right, so she probably tried to come up with some sort of realistic figure somehow. Right, so. But that wouldn't be the final cost, probably. right? It may but not. It, it would be the it would be the that would be what would be included in the grant application, though. Right. So it's, we'd still be on the hook for the mat, for committing to the match either way, for, even if it was less cost. It would be a, a twenty percent of whatever the cost was. Yeah. Looks like. I still think there's a way to just uh, direct the town manager's office to pursue it that we still you know we're interested in pursuing it we want to know what the price tag yeah. is and where the funding's coming from mm -hmm. so we could say um we could say the board generally agrees that it's a good idea to pursue this but we'd like to see where the match money is coming from before mm -hmm. we totally commit to the application yeah so it's probably worth from a tracy workload point of view it's probably worth her spending time on this mm -hmm. But we'll meet again on the 16th, and if we're convinced that there's $12,000 to cover our match, then or if it's the case that she's applying now, and you know, then you have to go out for our fee, and like we're not actually spending any money until July 1 of next year, then we right. can build it into the budget for next right. year. Right. Yep. But I don't know what the time was. It might be. I'm not clear on that. Yeah. Yeah. So. Is that, did, does that work for the minutes? <laughs> Excellent. So is that good then? Yeah. Uh, select board reports. I have a quick one. The um, equity committee in partnership with the Northeast Kingdom Rainbow Coalition is having an event um, on November 10th, which is also Veterans Day, next Friday, um, here at the Memorial Building from 6 to 7.30. Um, we're watching a short film about um, pronouns and then having a conversation about what pronouns mean. Everyone is welcome. All right. Anyone else with the reports? The townhouse is, is closed for the season. So it's after November. Tell us 1st. something about the project, the townhouse. Um, the bid documents are almost ready. And oh, wow. so it sounds like it will go out for bid um, November 17th. And we that, out for 30 until days. Until December 19th. Yep. And um, yeah, so things are coming together. That's exciting. Yeah. yeah. That's really cool. For the, you know, work to start, the real work to start in the spring. Yeah. For when it's available. So I've already chatted with Opie about how we need to make a plan for not having all the snow dumped in the area where they need to start working. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. And it's a trailhead anyway, so hopefully yeah. we're not going to, we're actually going to keep the trailhead clear. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's, hap it's mm -hmm. happening. I haven't heard yet whether or not we are going to be recipients of the T-Mobile grant. That's supposed to come in any time in the next week or so. Is that big? 50,000. That's pretty substantial. It's pretty competitive, but hmm. it seemed like it was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. Otherwise, we have it covered anyway, but, um, and then potentially we would uh, apply for a cultural facilities grant through the mm. Arts Council nice. for the lift, the cost of the lift. Oh, yeah because that's later in the process anyway. So those grants are due in May. And so we'll potentially go for that as well. But, that's yeah. awesome. Mm -hmm. Cool. 
Uh, do you want to hear a yellow barn status? Yeah. So there's a big wall that people have commented on, a big concrete wall, and mm -hmm. the top of that wall inside the building is inside that concrete is all going to be is currently being filled in with structural fill which looks a lot like sand um, and then there's going to be a concrete floor poured at the level that's the top of that wall and then the mm. building goes on top of that mm. so it's going to look pretty tall so, so will it have a basement nope so to speak no no we looked into it a, and it's just going to be a cavern in money. there no it's all going to be filled in with sand oh wow yeah and then why huh? can't we fill it in Could with we put a time dirt? capsule in there or something like that because the structural engineers wouldn't let us use that dirt Wow. Yeah. Time capsule. That's a good idea. So there's that. What else? They poured the concrete inside the barn itself. Ooh, okay. So it's really, it's pretty, it's starting to look nice in there. Like there's a nice brand new floor. The barn is much straighter and, mm -hmm. you know, um, and uh, they're, yeah, just forging ahead with the barn. Um, mm. We still have some dirt to some dirty dirt to ship to Coventry. There's a pile down by Wright Farm Road that'll go as time permits mm -hmm. um, and weather permits. And um, yeah, so the construction's going pretty well. Um, we're working with Hardwick Electric Department to, um, we have a little hiccup with them that came up in the past couple months about um, they need to up, they may need to upgrade a circuit in order to serve the barn. So. Mm -hmm. Moving right along. <laughs> yeah. After years of Years, but yes, <laughs> yes, yep. Congratulations. Yep. Yeah. Well, so, yeah, I hope it's good for the town. Mm -hmm. Things are beginning to happen again. Yeah, things are moving. <laughs> Yeah, the library seems to be under construction yeah, library, again. Yeah. Your, your, you know, the townhouse is getting a new roof on the memorial building. The, right. barn the is, tune up on them. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah that's the done. The, yeah, the slates are done, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. nice. Okay. Uh, any other reports, new business or old business? I had a quick, quick Opie's not here, so he probably could answer this question, but maybe we can talk about it at our next meeting, but it came up at, a question came up at the Board of Civil Authority meeting about if there are properties that are given to the town of Hardwick through the FEMA program, mm -hmm. is the town of Hardwick on the line for taking down any buildings and infrastructure? And so that's just something, a question that came up. And then do we need to budget for that or would we get reimbursed for that? Because some of the properties have buildings that or would not be safe to leave. I imagine Opie knows the answer. I would imagine this too. Yeah. But I just wanted to mention it. Yeah, no, question. that's a good question. Ooh, Any I place, I know the places in Waterbury that, the, where the um, buildings were given up and then became town land, those were cleared of any structures, yeah. so. Who paid for it? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. Okay, so that's a question. All right. Anything else? All right. Let's adjourn. Yay. Right at 6.30. Right at 6.30. Right. Right. Beautiful. Thank you, everyone.